I think that's probably the best thing to do. And hopefully then that will complete. Um, because it takes so long, I don't want to risk trying to reinstall it with that disable pulse audio command and it still fails. Um, that's a possibility. So I do think I'm going to try and install pulse audio. Um, and see if that will let the build complete. So I want pulse audio lib sound file. So, oops. So let's go to the top of the document. Does say it'll build its own. Um, if it's done that in that case, sudo ldconfig. Let's see if that makes any difference. Uh, let's put this back. Oh, yeah, see, Pulse Audio still says no there actually without that switch. So it seems like it does need it. Need the package to be installed, I mean. Oh, it's still there, right? So I'm going to install Pulse Audio, that's probably the best thing to do. So I'll push the, so I'll push the directory back to the source directory, and then I'm going to go into Pulse, oops, Pulse Audio. Then lib sound file because these are required. I have come across a situation sometimes where recommended packages are needed, so the package hasn't built without one or two recommended packages. Uh, packages. So that's always a chance. And whether that's because of the way I've configured the installation or the selection of packages that I use, I don't know. It's a possibility. So let's try and build this. So let's take a look at the extras here. So this is quite straightforward, this package. Right, so let's build. There's a command there to test the package.
Okay, so that's all tested. Okay, let's install it. Okay, and tidy up. So I'll go back to my graphical browser. Chapter 42. Uh, I want to reinstall that because I've skipped some dependencies. So lib sound file reload. So now pulse audio uh, looks relatively straightforward. So I'll go back on this one to pulse audio download extract it and let's see if there's any other options here build release blues So I might possibly need that, depending on there's a bit of a complex combination there. Apart from that, it looks like a uh, copy and paste. So I'm just going to well, we'll do this bit first. And then run this meson build uh, command on its own. In case I need to add any other switches. needs GIO there. Since you remember I've had this issue before at GIO. So let's try adding minus D GIO equals false. No, I didn't recognise that. I don't know where GIO comes from. It might be GLib possibly. Alright, oh, so we've got D buses, I'll keep forgetting the D buses installed. Um so let's reread this bit here. It says uh, runtime error of debus and both installed, but Blue Z is not installed. All oh, right, no, it's not anything to do with it. Um, okay, let's look at the meson is it underscore build options. Right, uh, let's get this in via, get some colors up. Search GIO. No, not found. No. Right, optional features else. Uh, G streamer, could it be that? Looks like a lot of these are auto. Um, I need to find out what GIO is so. I'm just going to go on the browser and find that out. Uh, 
Let's quit that. GIO-2.0. Right, yeah, so GIO is part of GLib, I've just found on the manual, so um, if I put in GLib here equals false, I'll disabled once, okay. Of course, it could be that if this works, that disabling it could cause the build to fail, possibly. Yeah, it, it definitely needs it, even though... Um, let's look for GLib again. Yeah, it is option GLib. So that's a bit unfortunate, because it means I've got to go and install something else now. So I'm going to come out of Pulse Audio, just clear this up. And go back to this window and select the GLib. So there's no actual requirements for this, thankfully, um, and hopefully this will build as it is. So I'm going to download the GDIP package. And as I say, I normally always build the recommended, even if I don't want the... Um, did I save that? Yes, I did. If I don't want the optional, and it does see the, seem the recommended are recommended for a reason. Um, and I don't think I've ever been this ruthless trying to avoid building stuff. Um, certainly not for a long time, if I have done it before. So you can see the kind of problems it causes. I think the next time I might build BLFS, it will be over SSH and have the option of building all the dependencies as I go along rather than building minimal and rebuilding but such is the situation here it's, I, I still think it's best to do a minimal amount now and get everything up and running so let's extract GLib now yeah there's a GIO directory just went whizzing past so Additional runtime dependencies. Well, I'm not going to be running a package at the moment, so that hopefully won't cause a problem. Um, so, this patch is about allowing the adjustment of warnings that are issued from GLib. So, I'm going to put it in in case that's something that we find necessary to do. If the previous version of GLib is installed, move headers out of the way, so we haven't got that problem. So let's run the, make the build directory. We've got another meson command here. So let's hope this one can go through successfully. So it's relatively simple. It does say Flip X is installed. I can't remember if we've got that installed yet. I don't think we have. That there'll be an error. But they're harmless. <laughs> right, 
it does need it, by the looks of it. Again, I'm going to look at this meson. Underscore options. Look for excess LT. Right, it's because of the man equals true. So I'm going to remove that for this this build. Uh, because this will be rebuilt without doubt. So it's strange that it says if LibXSLT is installed above command, it looks like it must be installed to, to be able to use the man command, the man option. So hopefully it all yeah, looks like it's gone further. couple of warnings there. Okay, so let's run Ninja now to build it.
Okay, let's finish compiling. So, I'll do it in install now. Uh, test suite requires desktop file utils for some test files. Desktop file utils requires GLib in order to compile. Therefore, you must first install GLib and then run rerun run the test suite. Uh, don't say how to run the test suite actually. Oh, I see. It says to install it now. Right. Okay. So um, I'm not going to run the test suite because I haven't got desktop file utils installed yet. So I'll do all that on the rebuild. these two here as root If this is a reinstall from, so it's an earlier package, remove this so that won't exist. We can double check. Yeah, it's not there. Right, so that's glib installed. Um, need to find out what chapter that's from uh. All right, I'm just trying to find it on another browser Right, general libraries, it's under chapter 9. So once more, this will be a reload after dependencies have been installed. So now I'm going to go back to this pulse audio. So I press the left arrow here. And tidy up here. I'm doing all the config to be sure because it needs that library. And then extract pulse audio again. Commands and hopefully, Mison will run this time. Yeah, that seems to have gone through okay now. So I'll Build this with Ninja.
Okay, that's complete. There's some tests we can run. Right, there's one failure there, but it's a test timeout, so whether it took too long. So, not sure why that occurred, but I'm going to install anyway. Uh, there's lots of bits missing at the moment and let's do this as root um, says here running as a demon is possible not recommended and to remove a file here to avoid creating unnecessary users and groups so let's remove that configuration files it mentions them but it doesn't say there's anything you can start pulse on command line mode using pulse order minus C um, that would probably have to be, yeah, that would have to be, run as root, I would have thought. Pulse order is working, but you no longer have sound. So some various things to do there if you're getting problems and so on. And it looks like this pulse audio just runs as a a thread. <clears throat> so hopefully that's pulse audio installed or enough installed to get the rest of QT Web Engine running. So once again I'm gonna do LD config. to ensure that these new libraries are visible. Now if I do pop D I should return to the web engine build. Uh, right I need to mark off pulse audio. That's chapter forty two. So reload options. <clears throat> 